Item number SCP-3132 Object Class Safe Update Special Containment Procedures As of January 5th, 2017 Site 208 has been placed under strict Level W4 quarantine All personnel transfers between Site 208 and all other sites are prohibited All delivery of supplies is to be conducted by unmanned vehicles no phone contact is to be made between any Site 208 personnel and the outside world. All personnel stationed at this site are to be reclassified as E-class personnel and allowed to continue with their duties as normal, with all wages and benefits increased by two stages as compensation. Original Special Containment Procedures SCP-3132 is to be kept in a standard safe item locker in the center of a 6 meter by 6 meter storage closet. All testing involving SCP-3132 must be conducted in a room equipped with special sound absorbing lining. Testing of SCP-3132 on individuals with arthritis or other joint related afflictions is currently prohibited. All SCP-3132-1 instances are to be housed in modified humanoid containment cells equipped with sound absorbing lining. Description. SCP-3132 is a plaster replica of a human vertebra. SCP-3132 exhibits several anomalous effects on humans in its vicinity, proceeding in several stages. Stage 1. When a human is within 2.3 meters of SCP-3132, they will begin to experience mild auditory hallucinations. Subjects describe the sounds as similar to those made when a joint is popped. The hallucinations immediately cease if the subject leaves the 2.3 meter radius. This stage lasts 10 to 40 minutes. Stage 2. Subjects within range of SCP-3132 after stage 1 ends begin to experience major discomfort in their spinal joints. Most subjects will attempt to pop their back joints. If successful, subjects report significant relief. The discomfort ends after approximately one hour. Whether the subject pops the back successfully or not. Stage 3. If the subject successfully pops the back joints during stage 2, they proceed to this stage. During this stage, only the subject's spinal joints are able to pop. Other joints will not pop no matter how they are pulled. Notice that vertebra will only pop in sequence either up from the L4 to L5 joint if the subject turns the torso clockwise or down from the C1 to C2 joint if counterclockwise. When popped from the top down, the vertebral joint will emit a series of pops that correspond to a descending B major scale. These sounds have an average volume of 65 decibels. When popped from the bottom up, the joints will instead emit a series of sounds corresponding to an ascending D minor scale at 80 decibels. Any human who hears either of these sounds other than the person who generated them enters stage 3 permanently and is hereafter designated SCP-3132-1. Furthermore, all sounds generated from the spinal joints of an SCP-3132-1 instance retain the ability to transform any listeners of the sound into additional SCP-3132-1 instances. SCP-3132 Testing Log Test 3132-29 Subjects D-19060 and D-28888 Begin log D19060 and D28888 are restrained to prevent movement of their backs. To avoid spread of SCP-3132, the subjects are inside a soundproofed room. Their comments are relayed to Dr. Horace through a text-to-speech device. Another day, another test. What's on the menu today? Please stand by. In a few minutes, we'll release you and move on to the next step. You'll be packing your bags in various patterns into the microphones placed around the chamber. Awesome. Hey, later on, we shall test on like five people and see if we can't get a band started. Crazy 8. That's the best idea you had all week. Can we get that written down somewhere? 
You guys know I'm not in charge of coming up with these tests. I'll be sure to mention it to my supervisor, though. Woo! Releasing restraint. D-1906. Please step into the red mark spot. D-28888. The blue spot. And be sure to face each other. The D-class proceeded to the designated spot. After that, there. Excellent. Now, when the light flashes, D-19060 will twist counterclockwise, and 28888 will twist clockwise. Dr. Rez checks several monitors and pushes a button to trigger the light. The D-class both twist as instructed, and the sound is produced. Later analysis shows that this sound was much louder than would have expected from normal constructive interference. Perfect. Do 28888. Move to the green spot and face away from 19060. 19060. Please remain in the exact same position. When the light flashes, you will both turn counterclockwise. Both D-class nod. Dr. Rez pushes the button again, and the D-class twists as instructed. The sound is produced as expected, with even greater distortion. Hmm... Dr. Rez writes in his notebook, I think we'll do one last test, then it'll be it for today. D-2888 high fives D-19060. Alright, 28888 to the yellow spot, 19060 to the grey dot. On my mark, you will both twist clockwise. Dr. Rez pushes the button. And his pen falls to the floor. The D-class begin to twist as Dr. Rez bends down to retrieve his pen. As he bends, his back pops unexpectedly within the range of the microphone. At this point, a large shockwave emanates from between 19060 and D-28888, partially destroying the walls of the testing chamber and most of the equipment. Closing Statement Dr. Hervez and the 2D class were injured and suffered partial hearing loss, but survived. While most of the recording devices were destroyed by the blast, analysis from the two that survived managed to make out a sound emanating from the epicenter. As of the most recent analysis, the sound was similar to the voice saying the words, Oh, that's nice! Note, based on the content of the comment, as well as SCP-3132's contagious nature, an investigation into the possibility of SCP-3132 and SCP-1937 being variations of the same phenomenon are ongoing. More importantly, the shockwaves was heard by a large number of site personnel and has turned out to carry SCP-3132's infectious properties as well. Site 208, Director Valasana. Containment procedures have been updated accordingly. Addendum, January 4th. Correspondence between Site 208 and Regional Director. We failed. SCP-3132 has effectively breached containment as of this morning. 90% of my personnel are now SCP-3132-1 instances. We've enacted lockdown procedures per standard protocol but its estimate will be affected by tomorrow. Additionally, I've deactivated all phone lines and intercoms in this site and prepared most of the other SCP objects here for transfer. Anything else? D-208 Director Felisana. I want you all to test the hell of this one. Might as well, since you're stuck in here with it. Regional Director Solace.